Hello again, my name's Pietro, thanks for clicking on by. Today we are going to troubleshoot missing sleep stats. You and 11,732,404... 405 slept with smartwatches last night. You woke up excited to see your smartwatch stats and you waited for your smartwatch to turn that little green icon to let you know everything is synced and then no data. Well, there are normally easy answers. Let's try these. Number one, your watch is turned off. I, I know that's pretty simple or it's an airplane mode. Let me show you how to turn it back on. Just hold down the control. If your battery saver is on, go ahead and turn that off and then keep scrolling until you get to right there waiting, connection disabled. So then you wanna make sure airplane mode isn't turned on. Nope, it's not. There we go, phone connection disabled. And then right there in the bottom, you can see that it says enable. So we'll select that. Phone connection required. Click on Bluetooth and look for your phone in the list. If you don't see it, go ahead and open up the app and then it should appear right there in the list. Let's say you have the Vivo Active 4 Darth Vader. On this one, what you'll do is you'll do a long press on the power control button and then right there, see where it says blinking blue? That means it's trying to connect. So what you do is you'd grab your smartphone, slide down, do a long press on Bluetooth, and then scroll down to devices and check to see which one's connected. If you don't see it there, you can do see all. If it's still not showing up, minimize that, open up Garmin Connect, and then right there in the top left, click on the three lines, scroll down to Garmin devices. There it is, Darth Vader not connected. How to connect, enable Bluetooth technology on Darth Vader device, and then you should connect automatically. All right, so it says waiting for GPS, and it's still not connected. What you can do, and this is the cool thing on Garmin, and you don't lose any stats, do a long press, still not connected, do a long press on the back button. You wanna scroll down to settings, choose phone, pair phone. And then it's gonna start looking for the app that's trying to find Darth Vader. If they don't find each other, you can do a long press on Bluetooth, pair new device, See right there, Darth Vader. And then it asks you to type in a pin. Allow access, sure. That takes just a second to pair. And then if you go back, the two should synchronize. There we go. Now, to make it your preferred tracker, let's go to my desktop. And this is how you set your preferred tracker online. You're gonna log in to Garmin's website, connect.garmin.com. When you first land, you'll be on the dashboard. Click on your little profile account in the top right-hand corner. You can say view profile, and then just to the left, devices in sync status, tactics Delta Solar, preferred activity tracker. So that's the one that's gonna track my sleep. Now they all could track my sleep, if, you, if I were to sleep with Darth Vader tonight and the Tactus Delta Solar, they both would track my sleep, but Garmin would only synchronize the data from the preferred tracker. If you wanna change it, you just hover over that device and click set preferred activity tracker. This device has been registered to another account. In order to make to do it, you'll need to set it up again in a Garmin Express. Oh, good to know. So if you borrowed your friend's Garmin, you might wanna have him uh, remove that. So that's how you choose your preferred tracker. Number two, your smartphone is having Bluetooth issues or is lacking a valid internet connection. Easy enough, right? And I'll show you how to check that. Number three, your watch battery died while you were sleeping and Garmin needs at least a solid 
two hours to get enough sleep data to count it as sleep. Uh, as at the time of filming this video, Garmin currently does not track naps. I, I know they have been making watches like this one and this one and this one and dozens more, probably what is it like over 50 different watches, maybe 70. I should know that. If anyone knows the exact number of Garmin watches, type that down below. So Garmin doesn't track naps yet. So if you're only sleeping two hours a night, that could be the reason why you're not seeing sleep data on your Garmin. And believe me, I've tried dozens of different methods. I've tried putting it in uh, do not disturb mode. I've tried napping for longer than an hour. I've tried napping for just 45 minutes. It currently doesn't work. It, years ago, there was kind of a sleep mode on, I think it was the Garmin Vivo Active, and then they disabled that and they took it away. And the fourth reason, well, you're a Garmin fan like me, and you have more than one watches. As it turns out, there used to be a loophole where if you had more than one Garmin device, all you'd have to do is reconnect them to your smartphone, synchronize them, and then Garmin could verify, oh yeah, this was the watch, not this one that had the sleep data. Well, that's changed. Garmin now requires you to choose a favorite gadget. I told them that I favored this one, the Garmin Instinct Solar, and well, <laughs> uh, it didn't work. So I actually missed sleep data. I went to bed with this as my preferred tracker, but actually I was wearing this one right here, the Garmin Tactics Delta. If you have multiple devices, here's the fix. You wanna turn on your preferred tracker, you wanna synchronize it to Garmin, and then you wanna log into your Garmin account and choose your preferred tracker. Here's the kicker. According to Garmin support, and the reading that I've done, and the testing that I've done, you have to choose your preferred tracker at least 90 minutes before you go to bed. I, I played around with it, I, I got away with an hour before bed, and I think most of you aren't gonna have this problem. Most people don't have, well, most people don't wear more than one watch, uh, but yeah. So once the software has determined that you've chosen your preferred Garmin tracker, then it's gonna look correctly and your sleep day is gonna show up online. Pretty cool, right? So again, let's review all the things. So step number one, if it's not synchronizing, you don't share your sleep data, make sure your watch is powered on, make sure you have an internet connection, make sure you have Bluetooth enabled, make sure you've set up your preferred trapper, tracker, make sure you've slept at least two, maybe four hours, hopefully. Hopefully you're getting more than five. And also make sure that your preferred tracker is selected a good hour to 90 minutes before you go to bed. So if your bedtime is scheduled on your watch and also in your app to be 10 p.m., you wanna make sure that you have your preferred tracker selected by 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And then there's number five. Let's say you have a newer watch like the Garmin Phoenix. If you have a Garmin Phoenix or you have the Instinct Solar or you just have the Instinct or you have the Enduro or another one that I've tested, the Tactics Delta, there's a new feature called Resume, Resume Workout. So if you're working out earlier today and you paused your workout with that new feature, Resume Later, well, sorry to inform you about this new mystery bug, but it blocks sleep tracking. I found this out the hard way. I had a great night of sleep. I slept at least eight and a half hours and I woke up, no data. I did a ton of troubleshooting. And then later that day when I went to go uh, do a workout, there it was resume workout, did some more research, and there's reason number five. So if you have a pause workout, that blocks your sleep. So you have two choices, just hit stop and save the workout or delete it, or go finish your workout and then go to bed. And there you go, those are my four, those are my uh, five troubleshooting steps. And I know this seems a bit strange, but you know what? So is wearing two smartwatches. Am I right? Yeah? Who wears two smartwatches to bed? 
I, I do. Actually, my record is six devices. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps at least someone sleep better at night with your preferred Garmin gadget. And that is all I have for today. And there is my mantra. Don't forget to run farther to go further in life. And if that quote doesn't float your boat, then recall that numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. And yes, there is Garmin's hashtag of beat yesterday, but I, I really think that Garmin doesn't want you to bother your brain with competing against someone a decade older or a decade younger than you. Simply remember that you just need to beat your past stats and feel good about yourself and the simple fact that you're moving forward. Goodbye, and yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. See you soon. You know, I was thinking it would be a very good video about, hey Garmin, where's my sleep, if I didn't actually show you some sleep data by Garmin. Here it is. Now, depending upon which type of Garmin you have, you may or may not see your sleep data. Scroll down to your widgets. If you don't see that sleep widget right there, just keep scrolling all the way down past all your widgets. I know there's a lot. Click edit and then scroll down until you see the sleep widget, which is gonna be at the bottom for all the widgets that you haven't added. Click add, and then you'll see sleep right in there. So we're gonna say floors climb with sleep, click add, and then you'll see it. So now we'll go back, scroll down, then you'll see your sleep widget, open that up, and this is the advanced sleep provided with the new Garmin watches. This is the tactics Delta Solar Watch by Garmin, kind of a military watch. It's also on the Phoenix series and also on the Garmin Enduro, and I also believe they put it on the marquee watches. So you have your overall sleep time, your sleep score. Where's my stylus? So there's your overall sleep time, and then there's your sleep score, your quality, and then long but restful sleep. Now if you scroll down, you can see your awake time, nice graph, deep, light, and REM, and then the breakdown of how long you're in deep sleep, light, REM, and awake, and then some advice. You did not sleep calmly. Your body may feel sluggish today. Okay. And then if you want even more details or just kind of bigger graph, you can switch to the app, so just open up Garmin Connect, and then scroll down, and then right at the bottom, there it is, sleep. And then it gives you that same information. So there's the deep timeline, and you can even click on movement, and it gives you a nice movement graph. And then also there's Pulse OX and a respiration chart, which is pretty cool. And then you can hold your finger across, and it tells you exactly what time of the day 
and what was going on. So light, light, deep, and you can kind of figure out, oh man, what was going on at 3 a.m. that I was a light sleeper? Maybe it was kids, your cat, your goldfish, your pet hamster, who knows? And then respiration is pretty cool. And then if you click on Pulse OX at the top, you get more information. And again, you can hold down and you get that graph and respiration, which is quite helpful as, as well. Pretty cool, right? Now, the one thing that they don't have on here is the score. And I talked to Garmin support. So there's that sleep score 72 and the quality fair, long but restless, that's not gonna be on there for a while. Uh, hopefully later this year, fingers crossed. So you need to look at your sleep widget every day on your watch if you wanna see your sleep score because it's not on the app and it's not online. Now, if you have the Garmin Instinct, you're not gonna see the sleep widget. It's not available yet and you're not gonna see the advanced sleep of the sleep score and the more detailed advanced analysis. You're just gonna see the sleep stages, such as right here. Uh, you'll still see Pulse OX and respiration on a lot of the watches, but it's only a select few that Garmin's uh, updated with that advanced sleep. Pretty cool though, right? Now if you compare that to other watches, such as this one right here, this is the OnePlus watch, and if I go to my widgets, I can see sleep, oh, it's not there, it dis disappears. But, just like Garmin, it gets stored in the app, and this is kind of the sleep assessment and sleep analysis that OnePlus device, <clears throat> that OnePlus provides. So they have a sleep assessment right here. It says it was a late sleeper. Okay. You went to bed a little late, even if you're, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Sleep stages, the percentage, uh, and then it yells at you if you go to bed too late, and it lets you know if you wake up on time based upon your sleep zone that you put in. And then it gives you stats for week, per month, per year, as does Garmin. So you can do a seven day average on your sleep. Whoops. There we go. So there's my seven day graph and it goes, your, it gives you your average deep sleep, average light, awake time, and average total sleep. And you can quickly see when you've made your goals. Now right now the goal for all Garmin users is eight hours. You can't change that, sorry. I imagine they'll change that when they allow you to track naps. Pithy comments down below. I really do like the advanced sleep. It's been really fun. And that is the very end of today's broadcast. Thank you for staying till the very end. And as always, pithy comments, type those down below, and I'll do my best to respond to those as soon as possible. Goodbye, thank you for watching, and good night.